is a devil and what devil does to us who is a devil and what devil does to us if you go to the scriptures devil in greek is diabolos devil in greek is diabolos means accuser means slanderer is a devil there is another word used is demon which is translated as demon in the scriptures so devil is a slanderer devil is a accuser and devil is the one who tears you apart and separates is it a person is a big question when we say the qualities that are negative seen in a devil we can see these negative qualities even amongst us in other words we can be possessing the devilish characters in that case we become devil we become accusers we become slanderers we become people who tear apart relationship the qualities of a devil is found even in us so that is why in the scriptures devil is compared to a snake why there is a probable reason the devil also has a double tongue snakes have double tongues cobra has double tongue python have a double tongue so it is devil is compared to a snake which also puts poison here and there so there is one more quality of a devil do you find in you also such negative quality that you have a double tongue you speak here one thing and you see speak something else you live for what you appear nice back of your mind you are different double tongue but you have a poison that is deadly that is slandering that is breaking relationship that all shows that you live for your own self and for your own name sake that you will do anything and everything to protect your own name and protect your own fame by becoming a double tongue snake in the society we need to be watchful we need to be clear in this particular line so anyone is a liar is a devil anyone is a slanderer is a devil anyone who speaks in two different ways is a devil like for example in the scriptures eat the fruit for you will become like god so he is turning the mind of a person so if you are lying you hold the characteristics of a devil what 
devil does to us the devil distracts us from the truth and the purpose so you are living a truthful life you are living a purposeful life so the devil inside you and there is a devil outside you distracts you what is the devil inside you like you get up very late you become lazy you don't have single mindedness like you want to become good you want to be good and you end up doing bad these are all inside devil distracting you from the true path there is an outside devil who slanders your name who maligns your name who spoils your reputation this is an outside devil you need to be firm this is possible only when you have god with you when god with you devil has no place in your life when the light is with you the darkness has no place in your life so the devil will tempt you and you get distracted you lose your orientation and your track is gone why do you give the master key of your life to someone who distracts you you need to be careful you cannot achieve anything nor you can have an ability to march on this is the destruction that a devil can do in you maybe a devil inside you maybe a devil outside you it can destruct you hence we have to be careful of the devil outside us we have to be careful of the devil inside us also don't forget that there is a legalistic devil who always watching you where you are sleeping where you are making mistakes this is another devil around us be watchful if you are watchful of all these devils in you and around you you can shine in life it is very nice to be aware of who the devil is and what a devil can do to you remember life is but once you pass this way only once any good that you can do any good word you can utter do it at once for you will not pass this way again we belong to god and we live only for god god bless you be enveloped by the grace and the presence of god every day in your life thank you very much god bless you